It is Superbikes at Road America for Moto America. And folks, as the video you're seeing shows, this place is packed. The fans have come out. They know what's going to be unfolding this afternoon. The weather is nigh unto perfect. And we are looking forward to some absolutely phenomenal racing. And we kick off our final afternoon of racing for Moto America here at Road America with a Royal Enfield Build Train Race. Hi, everybody. Gre uh, Roger Hayden sitting alongside me. Florent Nickel down in the pits. I'm Greg Creamer, and we're joined by three-time MotoGP World Champion Freddie Spencer. And it is time to take a look at some highlights from the first race of the Royal Enfield Build Train Race category. And Michaela Moore, great qualifying Freddie, had that bike up on pole, and she started to ride off into the distance. But Kaylee Bike, who qualified, uh, well, uh, came after her, but really one of the impressive rides was Sonia Lloyd. Yes, it was, and then Sonia had an incident coming down to where she was battling with Kaylee and then had an incident going down into turn five that we'll, that we'll see here in just a minute. And she actually dragged the, dragged the exhaust pipe. We got that fixed for today. But unfortunately for Kaylee, she dropped out. She had a counter shaft sprocket bolt that came out and so she couldn't, couldn't really adjust to that. But it was impressive. The riders from last year, of course, Crystal, and you can see there that was the incident with Sonya where she went in. And it just comes from their increasing their speed every day. So we adjust, made some adjustments at the end of the set after the race yesterday. That will certainly benefit them today. Yeah, and Michaela obviously showing early that she's going to be the one to beat. Great battle for second with Crystal and Sonia. Here are the uh, results, and you can see uh, it's an even mix here this year. There are six new riders and six returning, and Aubrey Crederoli doing a nice job there in fourth. A returning rider, Ashley Truxell in fifth. Holly Vari, a new rider. Jessica Martin coming back. Nicole Perezzo, M uh, Emma Betters. And uh, you can see by those time gaps that everybody found somebody to race. Yes. And they were putting on some great races in, in their little groups for sure. Well, and that's what we were looking for. You know, we, as you said, we had six... We had six uh, new riders this year uh, to come along, and that was the nice. There was it was two riders and two riders, two new riders, two uh, the return riders, and so they produced a great battle. Yeah, they absolutely did. Let's take a look at the schedule for the Royal Enfield Build Train Race Series. Uh, we're here at Road America. Next event is our next uh, event for Moto America, Ridge Motorsports Park. Uh, then we go to Brainerd International Raceway, and then at Pittsburgh International Race Complex. And uh, let's quickly, before we get into the racing, uh, Freddie, uh, we're going to take a look at that at that uh, that starting lineup. Uh, and uh, obviously, Michaela Moore, uh, you know, it's the same grid for both races. She was so impressive with a fairly nice mark. Margin. But now they've had a race underneath them. We saw them closing it up a little bit. The speeds, everybody finding more speed out there. And Aubrey Crederoli for a, a, a brand new rider as well. What a qualifying run she well, put in. Absolutely. And one thing we said yesterday, you remember that she had hurt, injured her thumb yeah. in, in, when we were training in Crescent, and, and she picked it up. And to kind of add a little bit to what I was saying about the, drag, the, the ground clearance issue, that's one of the challenges, the racings, and, and part of what this project is, is learning to build their bikes, but also to make adjustments. And, and so we, we had some rear ride height yesterday, and, and so they, they went out this morning. That made some improvements. The bike is steering better. They're going faster. One of my goals in those two days that we have a training was to just teach them the basic fundamentals. So as they improve, they could do it safer and more under more control. And they all have done that. It's, it's as I said yesterday, one incredible group of, of ladies, and I'm impressed with it. Yeah, take a look here. Our defending champion, Kaylee Bike, coming back out of Rochester, New York, as we said, won it last year. Four wins in six races, 113 points overall. Uh, SWG Motorsports uh, is the name of her team name. And uh, she really sort of set the bar last year. Uh, and uh, she and Crystal, in particular, got into some stunning runs, including right here, uh, where they raced so hard they missed a red flag and kept on going. Uh, they lost points, but they still got credit for the wins. And Roger, one of the things with these riders as we're getting really close to the start here is uh, when you're new, you it's a comfort issue getting way off the bike, which is how you have to be to build speed through corners. And that's what uh, they're going to be learning here as well. All right, as always, the red lights will come on. When they go up, we go racing. It's time for Green Road America. And a nice start, it looked like, by Kaylee Bike and Aubrey Crederoli. Maybe getting up the line a little bit better than Michaela, but it's all going to be who has the, uh, the bravery down into turn one. And Michaela starting to ease away here, Freddie. You can see they're going down in turn one. 
she got a great start, even better than she did yesterday. Kayla and the rest of them, they know they want to stay as close as they can. And in Kayla's case, as you said, she, she was the defending champion and she knows this racetrack. She had some struggles yesterday. We talked about it today. They've made some, as I said, some geometry adjustments. But all, all of it, they got comfortable with this morning. And Roger, what I was getting at here, and we could almost see it play out there in three. You can see Michaela, who's got a lot more road racing experience, getting way off the bike through three. And uh, uh, Kaylee was a little bit more upright on the bike. And it just takes a little bit to develop that, doesn't it? And I think you can even look today and see how much more these ladies are hanging off more than, than yesterday. Yes. And that's just a, a comfort thing and something that you got to get used to. It's a little awkward at first when you're learning to hang off a bike. You know, it feels weird. It feels like you might fall off. And but it's the right way and I think with these these ladies are getting that opportunity to be able to do that well you're exactly right Roger and Roger Lee and, and Sonia is a perfect example one of the things she said yesterday he, uh, obviously with the ground clearance because her pace is coming up every single day but she said that she was going to work on that more today and I was showing her some techniques you know how we use that lower body to make sure we get a turn so we're not twisted right so that we can get that upper body more off the bike and she was working on that this morning I'll tell you right right now Ashley Truxel got a great launch and look at this working a rock trying to round up the number uh, 25 of Martinez what a move around the outside in the carousel the experience of Ashley Truxel showing uh, she just hooked it up and that's going to put her up into third and she went around Crystal Martinez and uh, also uh, well Sonia Lloyd right there again now up into third as well and uh, right behind them is trying to get that number. Crystal. Is that Lauren Prince, I think, yes. on that on that bike with the red uh, nose on it. So just some great racing already in this one. All right, we're going to go back. We're getting uh, a uh, uh, Holly Vari, they think, may have left just a little bit early here uh, from the start. And uh, we're going to see if we can find that. And that's part of the game, too, is knowing where to line up in the start box and how to go what. Yeah. Yep, she See did. That. You know, it's one of the things we practiced just to get them used to, especially the new riders, is, is we did mock races uh, in Crescent, which was really a lot of fun. We did a little five laps and practicing to start being more active at the sport, what, what to look for, the, the red light for a lot of them. Mm -hmm. This is their first time to experience that, uh, you know, a light, uh, red light start, so uh, light tree. Also, too, with the start like that, it can be a little bit of a clutch. It's not always mm -hmm. the lady just, Absolutely. you know, misjudged the, the light. It could have been something else as well. Just a little clutch creep. Uh, and that bike that I, I, I think I said I thought may have been Lauren Prince was actually the 37 of Aubrey Crediroli, who had qualified well, didn't get the best start, and she is working her way back up through this field after dropping back just a little bit. So Aubrey a little bit frustrated with her launch and uh, coming back after it. But uh, again, really stout run right now for the 31 of Ashley Truxel. But uh, great lap by Michaela Rodgers. Yeah, Michaela Moore from a dead stop, 258. Point one. I mean, yesterday the best lap in the, she did in the race was a 254. Only four seconds off from a dead stop was pretty impressive. And here comes Crediroli on that number 37. Again, after a problematic start, she has worked her way by Crystal Martinez, Sonia Lloyd, and uh, just went by Ashley Truxel and took that final spot on the podium away. So I think Aub Aubrey won, learned a lot yesterday, Freddie, and also after getting a little bit of a, of a bad start, you can see she's got that red miss, but she's focused. Yes, absolutely. And one of the things she felt that was holding her back yesterday was through the carousel was was uh, the ground clearance again, the, picking the pace up. So we raced her bike up. She felt like it was better this morning, but you still you make some adjustments because the bike does respond a little bit different and and uh, you got to build a momentum and and sometimes you don't push it. Um, as hard as, as you would like to, making that adjustment and get, getting the feel. Well, Ashley came back at her as they were rounding out through turn seven, and uh, tell you what, just a, a, a tremendous outbreaking job by Aubrey down in there. But look at this move now as uh, Truxel watched what Aubrey had done through the carousel the last time and said, well, now clearly we can do that there. And uh, Truxel just decided to go after it, Roger. Yeah, and you can just see that just the confidence that they're having to make those passes where yesterday they kind of was a little bit 
wouldn't really make the passes sometimes in today you can see them where when they get close and where they know they're faster they have the confidence to make those passes well and one of the things with this is you know for these ladies uh, with the exception maybe of Michaela who's done some yes. some road racing uh, you know the learning curve is near vertical for them uh, every time they go out it's a massive learning moment for them and if they really are paying attention you can see gains like this yes well and so last year that that was for a lot of the new riders certainly it was their their first at this level mm -hmm. uh, of which is great for them that's what's incredible about the opportunity for the btr program to be at an event like an emote america event in front of in front of this crowd and to expose what's great about this particular type program to the public and the reception is amazing and we appreciate so much being here one of the things that they do do is they do a lot of track days and so i would have them and continue to work on as we're could work on the things, the techniques in those track days and leading up to this event. And so each day, yeah, absolutely, they're going to improve. They're going to get more comfortable. You see the sign that's being displayed. My my uh, my guess is that would be uh, maybe a black flag uh, sign or or indicator for the jump start. Roger, it's, it's what's a your jump take? start, yeah. and it'll have our name on it. It'll say the board. It'll say jump start, and uh, they'll just add. Uh, probably three seconds to her overall uh, lap time. Sometimes they do more. It depends how, how bad it is, but um, but at least it's going to be a time building to her overall race uh, time. And I'll tell you what, this group of ladies have figured out this draft because we had a breakaway there by Crediroli and Truxel for a little bit, and Sonia Lloyd and Crystal Martinez on the 28-25 who got into a duel for second and third yesterday uh, drew right back up onto them. And the one thing that's really impressing me, Roger, is uh, Aubrey, uh, Aubrey Crediroli, uh, one of the new riders to the championship, what we were talking about, look how far she gets off the bike now going into some of these turns, uh, the really tight one. She really gets off it, and here's uh, up front, Ashley Truxell in front of her, not off quite so much, and it'll be really easy to see once they get into the carousel. And now you're, you're seeing them starting to drag their knee, yeah. you know, where yesterday wasn't really dragging their knee as much, and now with the picking up the speed, they have to lean it over more to make the corner. Yes, that's exactly, and that's where it was so important that we gave them, as we look around Ooh. the outside, <laughs> boy, she, she really has a great line there. That's one of the things in it, Roger Lee, with the repaving is giving them more options on their entry line into the carousel. We couldn't have used to have done that. You didn't run that wide. Remember, we'd run on the very bottom. But one of the things by increasing the ground clearance is giving the opportunity to be able to get the bikes over. They're dragging the knee. Of course, they can run more corner speed. And so I'm really pleased to see that, that the changes we made to the, to the bikes has really been great. You can see for the riders to be able to run that oh, higher pace. Oh, look at this move here. That is Aubrey who's going and got the pass done early. Now, looks like Ashley might have thought on that 31 just for a second about her, a counter move pass, couldn't quite get it done. And behind them again, Sonia and Crystal absolutely hammer and tongue as well. It's currently Sonia who's got that position. They put on a great show today. Absolutely, it's one of the things they, as we, as they picked up the pace, it's brought a, a group of them together, and and for me, Ooh, big moment oh. there by Ashley Truxell as she got to the throttle hard in 14. The it, back, the bike stepped out. Great save. It was a great save. And that's where body position certainly helps. And one of the great things yesterday, the smile on their face when they got off the bike. They love this. They love battling with each other. They'll laugh about last night at dinner. We were all at dinner together, and it was so great to see how much fun they had. When you're at a weekend like this, when the super bikes are out, or when you know any of the other classes are out, do you take them out to a corner and say, "Look at the technique. Look what they're doing." We out haven't there. done that this 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 weekend, uh, mainly because we've been so busy getting them up to speed sure. and making some adjustments that we'll have continued as as the year goes on. There'll be upper, other opportunities at some circuits that'd be a little easier to get to to be able to show them. Uh, but we encourage that they go out and they go out and look, and then but we spend a lot of time looking at track maps just like we would as professional racers. Roger Lee, how many track maps we've looked at and, and drew out lines and things, right? And so those are the things that I'm helping them and teaching them about ways to, they working on something to improve. Yeah, and one of the biggest things for, for a new rider is learning how to like 
make up speed without changing the bike. Right. You know yeah, what I mean? Absolutely. Like doing it yourself. And that's absolutely. a huge thing when you're starting to learn and absolutely. writing out those maps and figuring things out and all those little things. It all builds confidence. It right? does. And then it does. I'm sure it's some of these races that uh, they'll go out and watch or, and I bet a lot of, I bet a lot of them watch his videos. I they do. You. They do. We saw Sonya there. It looked like she misjudged her. Her inch is going down in turn five. Uh, just got in there a little bit hot. Well, and she'd had a great run, and it actually worked her way around Ashley Truxel uh, and moved into that fourth spot. Then uh, yeah. that little wide run allowed Ashley to sneak back through again. But here we go with this side by side between Sonia and look at Crystal just absolutely wicking it around the outside there and uh, see how that panned out and shoo, I think that uh, well, it's tough to tell because it looked like Sonia had a really nice inside line but you know Aubrey now right here on the 37 yes. she's made a little break from that group and her times are coming down I mean yep. Michaela's fast lap Freddie a 254.3 Kaylee in second uh, only a 256.5 but Aubrey a 257.5 I know they, it's impressive. they yeah they picked up the pace the gap between Michaela and, and uh, Kaylee and Aubrey is a little closer you know of course Michaela knows exactly what she needs to do she's running a great pace she just did a 254 but Kaylee and Aubrey have certainly stepped it, uh, stepped it up and out of turn 14, up this long climb here at Road America, your leader, Michaela Moore, looking to sweep the weekend, and she is coming up to get the white flag. One lap to go. But here's the other point of this, Roger, was at this point yesterday, Michaela's lead over the field was something on the order of about 14 seconds. Take a look when uh, Kaylee comes through here. Kaylee has run a race that's five seconds uh, quicker at this stage, doing just a superb job. Yeah, yesterday Michaela won by 17 seconds, and Kaylee today has kept, uh, you know, within 10. And yes. that's just a huge yeah, jump. And that's what, that's what these ladies are going to do as they improve. Close that, that overall race distance to Michaela, just like any other class. That's how you kind of see your improvement is just yes. getting getting closer. And even today, just watch them. You can see how much more track that they're using. Yesterday, you know, with some of that extra track they wasn't using today. A little conservative you on the exits. Yeah, and and yeah. Today they're using it. Well, that's one of the things they were working on and that we drew out, Roger Lee, exactly, is, is instead of running not close enough to the outside and turning in, opening up that entrance, and of course, give yourself more time. And that's what they're doing today, and it's great to see. Look at this battle. This is the final spot on the podium right now. And this is absolutely a, a superb run here. Well, check that. This is for fourth right now, and it's the number 25 of Crystal Martin is. But look at Truxel rounding her up around the outside. That's difficult to do in turn five. That's bike control. That That's is. confidence, yeah, exactly. And so she was uh, just all weekend getting more confident. That's <laughs> great to see. And that takes a lot of, uh, certainly a lot of confidence and comfort level. And she did that under complete control. Yeah, she did. And yeah. I've just really impressed her with Aubrey, just watching her get off that bike and rolling speed through the corners. And uh, everybody behind her now uh, at this stage, they're watching what Aubrey's doing. And, you know, because they recognize she's quick. And of course, this isn't. Mm, this is a pretty good showcase, too, for how fun these uh, Royal Enfield Continental GT 650s are to ride. And Michaela, I can only imagine the smile under that helmet right now, out front and riding a bike that is this fun. Well, she certainly has a lot of confidence in, in her ability, and she's a, just a lovely young lady. And But she's very methodical. You know, she's made the correct inputs this week, you know, and, and she's run two great races. She's and, young, uh, too. She I mean, absolutely you know, she, is she young. definitely has a yeah. future here. Yeah. You know what I noticed, too, as she was going into Canada Corner? You know, you start getting your butt off the side of the seat before you get to the corner. Yes. You know, a lot of new riders wait till they break, and right before they lean in, then they get their butt off. You can see, she's seeing right there. Yeah. She's already learning to get get yeah. it off before yeah. the corner. She was like that way instinctively, Roger, when we were at Crescent, and, and I was having her right and left. She just would move her, her, her lower body over it. It was great. Well, here we go up the hill for a sweep of the weekend for Royal Enfield's Build Train Race Series. And it is two in a row for Michaela Moore to kick off the 2023 season for this series. Kaylee Bike, the defending champion, coming up the hill as well. And what I'm looking forward to seeing is just how much smaller that margin is from winner Michaela back to second. And like we said, it was what? 17 seconds yesterday. 
It's only 11 and a half today. That's pretty impressive. The very impressive Aubrey Credit Roley comes through. Crystal Martin, uh, Martinez takes fourth. Ashley Truxel comes home in fifth. And Sonia Lloyd in the sixth spot. So what a remarkable run here. And uh, for Michaela Moore, she puts together a sweep of the opening weekend here for Royal Enfield Built Train Race at Road America. Royal Enfield Built Train Race coverage is brought to you by Royal Enfield since 1901. And by Dunlop, the official tire of the Moto America Championship Series. Before we went to break there, we see the riders giving, uh, you know, high fives and everything. Michaela turned around. She wanted to give a thumbs up and give somebody a high five, but she was just a little too far ahead. So, you know, that's also a mission for these riders here. And uh, she backed up and, uh, and, and wanted to uh, celebrate with them. But I'll tell you, Kaylee obviously had that mechanically yesterday. Uh, she was absolutely determined to let people know that this isn't done yet already in the season. What a great run she put in. And I'm super impressed with Aubrey. Well, you can see Michaela, great ride, two rides in a row, and she, she's working toward that and the consistency is great and, and Kaylee's great to see with that struggle yesterday and, yeah. and to get through this this race she'll, she'll be happy with second um, and then as we watch in the start here and then also Aubrey another great uh, great performance there I'm glad to see all of the the ladies I can promise you they'll be happy but there will also be things that they'll want to work on um, but it's a, a nice nice race for them and I see the improvements I think we all do with their lap times as it's coming down and and I could be more proud for him. Yeah, and I mean look at this, you know, get that's Ashley, amazing. that that's outside nice. move, yeah. just that rim shot. And as we talked about using more of the racetrack, right. uh, you can see the changes from day to day, and it's impressive. And you know, the more of the of the track you use, I mean, look at this draft move around the outside, Roger. That was sweet. Yeah, and just the confidence that they have today to to make those passes yesterday. I think she would have rolled off the throttle a little bit and you know, just showing how competitive they are. I mean, they're all friends, but man, they want to beat each other really bad. Well, and you know what, Freddie? You know, the thing is, even when you win, if you're a true competitor, you're happy. Of course. But you're not necessarily satisfied yeah, because well, you go, well, we could have done this better. And everybody that's second and back, you know, they could be pleased with the, the gains they've made, but they're always looking for that next step. Well, and that's the things that they will continue to work on, and they'll continue to work on. And that's part of what this program is, is to, is to build that foundation and to give them the foundation, give them the ability to, to learn and to, for us then to convey what, what will help them, but also give them a chance to keep improving. And so it's exciting to see. And also just looking at yesterday's first race, the total time difference from, you know, a lot of these ladies to Michaela, a lot of them are 10 seconds. Their race, you know, overall time is 10 seconds quicker than yesterday. I mean, right. that, that's two that's seconds amazing. a lap. I know. It's amazing. Yeah, that's a huge yeah. gain. And here we see yeah. the results here. And, uh, you know, again, 17 seconds from Michaela uh, to our second place finisher yesterday, down to under 12 today. Aubrey Crediroli, a great race today up onto the podium. Crystal, Ashley, Sonia, great battle throughout the race as well. Uh, so everybody showing some really, really impressive pace. And, you know, the other thing that we haven't talked about too much here, but very quickly because we're going to get down for interviews, but BTR, Build, yes. Train, Race. Right. You, They work on their own bike, right. so they understand yes. them. They go through physical training, right. mental training, and then they learn racecraft, and we're seeing it played out beautifully today. Absolutely, and, and that was, again, one of the things this year that they're bringing to the program is, is is the build part and improve that give them the tools and to learn to learn to work on the bike but also to get it ready to race and then the training part I believe you know that has been great and then of course to get here to give them the chance Roger Lee to maximize their potential but to do it in the safest controlled possible and that's the thing because you can imagine for me seeing this is, is at the end of the two races the performance and what control performance no real issues and they improved everything every single lap and not only that just improves so much and then yeah. you go back to tonight and i'm sure y'all talk sure again oh, absolutely look at the yeah. track map and they're going to be able to tell <laughs> each that. other you know where the, where they found more speed of and course. what they did yeah. and absolutely. you know just it's all great. work together yeah 
Look at that energy. Look at that joy that's, uh, oh, that's out there. And what I like is uh, you were talking <laughs> about uh, for, uh, was it, oh, was it Sonia that, uh, that caught the pipe? Yes. Uh, yes. You know, she doesn't just hand it over to the crew and go fix it. I'm, I'm sure it was, well, I dragged the pipe, and I'm sure the response was, so what do you want us to do about yeah. it? Yeah. Well, uh, also well, talk about raise it, it up. Put, yeah, yeah, of course. Go. Yeah. And I mean, she talked about body position, but. It was, it was good interaction. All right. Well, let's get down to Lorette Nickel to hear from our double winner. Michaela Moore, congratulations. Welcome back to first place. What were some of the adjustments that you had to make from yesterday to today? Um, so some of the adjustments I made was I changed my tires. So freshies make you go faster. And uh, I raised the rear up some more thanks to Megan. Um, and I just went out there and made sure I hit my marks and I was feeling great. This is an incredible weekend for you. The opening round of Royal Enfield Build, Train and Race. Did you meet and beat your expectations? Um, well, I knew going into this weekend, uh, the returning girl was going to have an advantage over me being at, they was at this track last year and I wasn't. So I knew I had to pick up this track quick, but I love the bike, Royal Enfield. I love it. I love that. And we saw your riding style really progress. Did you feel more comfortable leaning into the corners and getting off the bike? I really did. I felt very comfortable and I was just happy with how the bike was performing for me. Um, I just want to thank my sponsors, Royal Enfield, Parts Limited, Dunlop, Arai, my parents, Real Bill Racing, Old Towns Roofer, and just all the fans that came out to support us today. Michaela Moore, congratulations. Man, I love that smile. Good look there at that beautiful bike. It is. She really has put together a great looking machine. And Kaylee Bike, after a mechanical, kept her from finishing yesterday. Lorette, what a comeback ride. Kaylee, that was an incredible comeback ride. And coming up to second, welcome to the podium. What were some of the biggest lessons learned here? Um, two years ago, I would have not been happy yesterday having a mechanical. Um, racing's racing, so it happens. Uh, I was kind of nervous to come out today. Everything's going on in my head, but I just figured I'm going to go out. I'm going to keep my head down, not think about anything, and just ride my ride. Try to keep up with Michaela. <laughs> yeah, and there was a five-second difference. Yesterday there was 15. So how confident are you coming into the next round at Ridge? Um, we've never been to the Ridge before. Um, kind of nervous. Um, getting better at learning tracks and stuff. Um, I'm happy Michaela's here. I've been riding with her for years now. So to have her to chase is helping me, and I'm happy about that. A lot of lessons learned here at the Royal Enfield Build, Train, and Race. That there are, no question about that. And let's uh, head on over to Aubrey Crediroli, who had an absolutely stellar race up through the field and on the box. Hello, Aubrey. Welcome back to the, welcome to the box. What were some of your personal goals this weekend? Um, just try to ride my ride, stay focused, stay calm. You know, reset after you make a mistake, not focus on it, and continue to push forward. I would imagine it's pretty difficult to actually stay calm because your heart race, your heart is racing so much, right? And you're ready to go. So how did you keep that cool head? Uh, just reminded myself that I want to be in this for the season. I'm coming back from an injury, so I'm just trying to be mindful of that. And what's the status of your injury? Um, I'm, I'm good to ride. I'm good to race. I just need to take it easy, make sure I stay smooth. Hopefully this momentum keeps up for you during the season. Congratulations. Greg? Thanks very much, Lorette. Yeah, she rode an absolutely superb race. And you know, now knowing that she's uh, got an injury in the back of her mind, uh, that keeps it interesting too. But you know, you know, Freddie, one of the things here, you know, she uh, she talked about not focus on a mistake if you make it. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that a truly successful racer, uh, one of his best elements is a short memory oh, at well. times. You got to put that stuff behind you. Oh, absolutely. And one of the things, you get nervous, you, you get apprehensive, you get hesitant. And as, as Kaylee said, and one of the things that I talked to all of them is, is get that out of your mind. To get focused on what you want to do, focus on what you need to do. You got you to gotta ride relaxed and also try hard. And sometimes that's a very difficult thing to balance out. But again, mainly I'm so happy for them. I'm so proud of them uh, for the job they did. They work unbelievably hard. And today to see the smile on their faces and, and for everyone is, is what it's all about. Well, that kind of praise coming from a three-time world champion and uh, somebody with the experience you have and the guidance, Freddie, is absolutely remarkable. Thanks so much for joining us Thank here. Thank you. Uh, go congratulate those ladies. And we'll be back, folks. We're moving to the one-liter bikes. Steel Commander Stock 1000 coming up.